great for you. So no pressure, Tim. Nice big walking forwards and backwards and show me that big giant posture. So lift up your chest, chest is up, tummy muscles are in. Get those arms swinging nice and big. Good, even bigger. I wanna see bigger arms out of the group here. Bigger arms, bigger posture, big steps, big giant steps. Good, couple more times. Our focus right now is on moving the body a little bit, getting that heart rate up, getting some blood flow in, get that mu those muscles warm, getting ready for some work here. Good, even bigger. Two more times. Good, we're gonna take it to a modified jumping jack. So modified jumping jack, standing in place here, big posture. We're gonna take a step out, arms out, together. Out, together. Out, together. Big, together. So whenever we do jumping jacks in our groups, if you are unable to do a full jumping jack, this is always going to be your option. Nice big movement through your arms and legs. Big, together, big, together, big, together. Good, we're gonna do four more and then move to traditional jumping jacks. If you don't wanna do traditional jacks, you're gonna stay right here. Traditional jumping jacks, 10 of them. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, modified, out, together, out, together, nice job, out, together, make it big. If you have something going on with one of your arms or a hurty shoulder, then maybe just one arm is moving up, okay? So do what feels good for your body. Two more, good, regular jacks if you'd like, here we go, 10, nine, eight, Seven, make it big. Six, five, four, three, two, good. Big march in place. Big march in place. Big march in place. Move those arms. Good. Take that march out wide. Pump those arms. Chest is up. Good, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start turning the trunk here. So you're just gonna start moving those arms like a pendulum. Turn and look, turn and look, turn and look, turn and look. Yep, keep your chest up. Head and neck are over the rest of your spine. Let those arms swing, kind of loosening up through the midsection. You can even kind of turn your hips a little bit. Good, four more. Three, warming up that spine. Two, good, sideways rock and reach. Looks like this, you're gonna turn as far as you can to the left, open up your arms, palms to the back, thumbs up, big finish. Good, big posture, go the other way, turn it open. Big palms, big finish, turn to the left. Big finish, center, good, turn to the right. Look, take your head with you, finish. Turn to the left, turn and look. Big finish, turn to the right. Warming up that spine, big finish. Left, four more. Big finish, right, big turn, pivot on that trailing leg. Big finish, two more, turn to the left. Big finish, one more, turn to the right. Big finish, good, big posture. Roll those shoulders up and back a little bit. You can kind of march in place. If it's hard to roll them back, just lift them up and down. Kind of opening up through the chest and shoulders. Let your arms go with you. Kind of shift your weight side to side as you stand there. Good, we're gonna squat it down and open up the chest. So big posture, squat, big open. Just like your sit to stands. Big open from the side, looks like this. Stick your butt out, open the chest. Squat, stick it out, good, open. Big posture, pull those shoulder blades together. Squat, 
Open up the chest. Squat, make it big. Big hands, spread those fingers nice and wide. Squat, open. Remember when you're squatting, keep your chest up so you're not dropping your chest down over your legs. So keep looking forward. Squat, and open, good. Squat, and open. Big posture, even bigger through the hands. Spread those fingers out, good. Squat, open, squat. Open, good, two more. Open, good, side to side reach ups. Looks like this, reach to the side. Reach, reach, reach. So when you're doing this, you're pushing through that leg. You don't have to go to one leg, but I want you to really think about weight shifting over to that side, lengthening the side of your trunk. This is like reaching for the ceiling. So get that reach all the way through your fingertips as big as you can, really lengthening the sides of your trunk. Good, reach. So if I have shoulder trouble, maybe I just reach out to the side, okay? So do what works for your body. Push through the legs. Maybe you do more of a push through the leg. Good, keep reaching, two more. Good, big march it out, big march it out. Big arms, good, bring that march in a little bit. Big arms, good. We're gonna do alternating forward stepping. Looks like this, right, back to center, left, back to center, good. So you're stepping forward, lifting that foot up. Stepping forward, lifting your foot up. Step, pick it up, big stomp, big step, big stomp, big step, big stomp. Good, big arms, big stomp. Good, chair if you need to for balance, stomp, big step, big stomp, big step, big stomp, big step, big stomp. Good, four more. Three, two, good, big jog it out, right here, march it out, big march. All right, we're gonna warm this up a little bit. Our first high intensity interval, or one of our high intensity intervals, I should say, we're gonna do some different speeds for marching or jogging. So if you feel comfortable jogging in place, and you can kind of bounce a little bit and pick your feet up, perfect, okay? If you're not comfortable jogging, you're gonna just march. Big march, big knees, big arms, and then I'll say faster, and you're gonna pick it up at your medium speed, and then we'll go fast again, and you'll pick it up at your top speed, okay? So we're gonna practice it right now, 10 seconds. So regular marching right here, nice and big, big posture. 10 seconds, and we're gonna increase our speed in three, two, one, good, march or jog, pick it up, moderate pace, 10 seconds. This is gonna be what we're working on for our high intensity round, we're just trying it out. Three, two, one, this is your max speed, marching or jogging. This is like your sprint to the finish. Here we go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one, big march. Okay, that's what we're gonna work on a little bit later. Good, keep moving. All right, we're gonna warm up a couple of hopping or steps, okay? So another high intensity interval that we're going to do is going to be some front to back jumps. So we're gonna work on that. Watch here first. So front to back's gonna look like this. All you're gonna do is hop forwards and backwards. Two feet hops, okay? Two foot hops, you can try it. So smaller range of motion, just kind of moving forwards and backwards, chair if you need to for balance. Then we're gonna make it bigger, and we're gonna jump forward and backwards in more of a squat position, okay? So squatting, jumping, little hop. If you can't hop or that feels too challenging for you, then just step it forward and backwards. 
Want to get that big arms though, because that's going to drive your intensity. Okay? Two more. Good. Big march it out. Another one we're going to try is going to be side to side hops. So here, you're going to have your feet hips distance apart or maybe closer. You're going to pretend there's imaginary line on your floor. Okay? And we're going to do two foot little hops like this. Side to side. You could have a chair in front of you if you want, or you can step it over, but we want to get that little bit of hopping in there to get our intensity up. Okay? So two more, and then we're going to make it bigger. How many people are skiers? Anybody used to ski? Me neither. Okay, so we're going to do a ski jump. So you're going to jump to the side, jump or step to the side, big arms. So similar to those squat jumps, but you're moving side to side, big giant arms. Okay, couple more. This is just our trial. Good, march it out. Big march. Good, big walk. Go ahead and grab a drink. 